Hi, this is Ken Rimple, and I'm going to show you how to use Spring Room to create a GWT application. Uh, the first prerequisites are that you should be using Spring Room 110, uh, and if you want to use GWT, uh, it should be built into Roo itself. So I'm going to create a Roo application here just by typing the Roo command line. When the Roo uh, shell comes up, we're just going to create a new project, and you can just hit Tab as you're typing the project name. Two dashes gives you the options. So for example, I'm just going to call this demo.gwt as a top level uh, Java package. Everything in Roo works off of a base package. I'm going to then give it a project name of GBT in Roo and hit enter. At this point, it builds the project. The next step is to actually go ahead and configure a database. Persistence setup, database, then we're going to pick, uh, for, for now I'm going to pick Hypersonic Persistent. I'm going to pick a provider of Hibernate. This sets up a JPA provider and now I can start creating database entities. So I'm going to create entity and I'm going to give it a class name of special tilde dot special syntax means top level package. So that top level uh, demo package uh, with GWT in it, I'm going to use that dot model dot course. I'm also going to ask it to test automatically, which is going to build an integration test for that particular entity. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and create fields. So I'm going to say field, and let's say this is a course, so I'll do field string, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to do a field, and I'm going to do a number, and I'm going to pick a type of java.lang.integer. And I'm going to give it a field name of days. And that should be fine for the moment. Um, so I'm just going to hit uh, clear. And now I'm going to create my GWT site. GWT setup actually goes through and configures the Maven GWT compiler. And it installs GWT support. And it is now using. Uh, the more advanced features of the uh, MVP framework and the event bus. At this point, I actually have a working application. And now, if I go ahead and try to run this, I can do Maven GWT colon run, and we'll actually go ahead and configure GWT, uh, compile the application, compile the GWT code, and then host it in the GWT development mode, like a swing application, uh, lets you launch your default browser and run the application. So here we have our data browser. I can click Create Course favorite five days hit save and uh, you'll see it too because I actually created one and goofed it up in the beginning so my oh, let's call it basket weaving days three it takes a long time to learn to weave baskets and there you have it uh, you can go ahead and delete one so if you don't like it you can click delete and you get a nice little delete dialog and that's pretty much how that looks. If we go and take a look, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel development mode. And all I do to do that is just basically do control C to break out. Uh, and that disappears. Now let's see, let's go back into Roo and add another entity. So now I can say entity model dot and let's call this room. Test automatically. All right. You'll notice, by the way, that the focus was set to room. That way, any kind of command I have against entities will automatically use that entity. Otherwise, I have to type uh, dot dash dash class and specify the class name. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a field, and I'm going to call this field string, and I'm going to call this uh, room uh, just name, and we'll do a field numeric type Java. Let's see type lang dot integer and now I'm going to say the field name is capacity and while we're at it uh, we can go ahead and create another entity entity and I'm going to call this one dot scheduled course test automatically and now I'm going for a many to many relationship here uh, I do that by going one to many to each one. So the scheduled course will have references both to rooms and to courses. So I'm in the scheduled course. So I'm going to say field reference. 
and I'm going to say field name equals course. The type is model.course. The cardinality is, this is in the middle side, so this is many to one. And I'm going to hit enter. That should take care of that. And I'm going to do another one, field reference. And this is going to be field name room. Type would be model.room. The cardinality will be many to one. Now all I have to do is put the relationships on the other sides. So I'm going to say focus model.room. And I'm going to say field. And this is going to be set. We're going to say field set. The element of each set element will be model. And now we're in room, so we're going to go to scheduled course. Card uh, field name would be uh, courses, the course schedules. How about that? And we're going to go now and we're going to ask for the cardinality and we're going to set that to one to many. So we got a field that is a set. Uh, the elements are each can be scheduled courses. The field name for this collection is course schedules and the cardinality is one to many. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing to courses. Course. Is that wrong? The outer entities will actually point into the inner entity, one to many. So this will actually work for both. So we have established two one to many relationships. I'm going to quit. You'll notice, by the way, that there's a lot of things that get generated uh, around GWT. In fact, the GWT directory in source main Java uh, also has uh, a client directory, which has all the GWT code in it. Uh, we're going to do maven gwt colon run again and as long as that we didn't goof anything up it's going to go through and it's going to build everything and get us up and running again and now it's going through and building the app again brings up my development mode we go ahead and launch our url which i'm just going to preload in here it's complaining because I had already shut it down, but if I refresh, it's the same URL. And now I should see three sets of entities. And here we are. So I can create courses. The course has basket weaving. And I'll call that 10 days now. We're going to make it a really important course. I'm going to set up the room, the rainbow room. Who wouldn't want to work at the rainbow room? And hit save. And now I can click on schedule courses and pick a course and room.